My favorite characters from the StarCraft universe are first off Abathur, secondly Alarak, and third it's a shared place between Donnie Vermillion and Egon Stedman. Now, until today, I never assumed they were ever gonna make Egon Stedman or Donnie Vermillion into a co-op commander, but Stedman has just been added to StarCraft 2. Now, I haven't played a single game with him just yet, so I figured let's go ahead and figure out what he is all about together. I think he's honestly... Maybe with the exception of Alarak, my favorite voice actor in the game, especially in the mission where he is addicted to Terrazine. And, well, judging by his eyes at the very least, I think that's a problem that he has right now as well. So, apparently, he has named himself a Hero Genius, also known as a Henius. Doesn't sound nearly as menacing. I mean, for Zeratul, it says Dark Prelate, and then the legendary outlaw right here for Tigus. But no, apparently he calls himself a hero genius. He's recommended for experienced players. We get to deploy satellites across the map, and we can control Statman's Mega Zerg, which are augmented with Terran and Protoss inspired enhancements. So, we deploy satellites, or Statalites, rather. Did I actually read satellites just now? No, 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 they're called Statalites, which can generate stat zones that provide various bonus to you and your allies' armies. So, if I'm not mistaken, it kind of sounds like creep spread, in a way. I'm not entirely sure if that's true. Then we have Gary. We get to control Gary, who can support our army and interact with Statalites around the map. Okay, and then we have semi-stable mass transportation. Gary teleports himself and all nearby units to a target Statalite's location. I have no idea what any of these things mean. As far as his units go, we have the Mecha Zirkling, the Mecha Baneling, the Mecha Hydralisk, the Mecha Infester. An infestation specialist can use Roaches Away, Deconstructive Roach Knights, and UMIC Charging Protocol abilities. No idea what that means either. The Mecha Corruptor can use Cluster Blusters and Terra Clean Solve. They've gone, they've gone a little bit crazy with all of the names, right? I love it. The Mecha Ultralisk, a heavy assault beast, has an area damage attack, can use a Vector Burrow Strike and Mecha Mooch Module. The Mecha Mooch Module. I can just imagine the developers of, uh, of Statman Galing while coming up with a lot of these names. We have the Overseer, then we have the Mecha Lurker, can use Tunnel of Terror algorithm and Focus Strike algorithm. Alright, I'm gonna have to try a lot of different things. We have the... Mecha Battle Carrier Lord, a flying heavy assault unit. It shoots uh, Mecha Brutlings at its target, built and launches Mecha Locust Scepters that attack enemy ground targets, can use Stat Mato Cannon. Uh, so this is like a mix between a battle cruiser, uh, a carrier, and then also a Brute Lord, I guess? Then we have the Mecha Spine Crawler as well as the Mecha Spore Crawler. Okay, at the very least, I don't know what these do. Now, as always, whenever there's a new co-op commander in the game, I don't really want to read all of the different ones that are available right here, all of the different upgrades. I'm just going to read the level one just so I don't spoil myself. Okay, so first off, we have Statisfaction Guaranteed. <laughs> Statman can deploy Statalites, which grant passive stat zone enhancements. Structures that unlock units are limited to one. Mecha larva spawn at an increased rate. Statements mecha units utilize Egonagy, which does not regenerate on its own. I have no idea what this is all about, but you know what? Let me find an ally and let's jump into a brutal mission to figure out how this character plays. Oh wow, I just noticed his ready animation. Hold up, I just found an ally, right? But when you are ready up, look at him. Acting way cooler than he is. I like it. Also, his face in the loading screen is amazing. Now, I really like Stetman's voice lines. We really need more minerals. This is Corporal so I don't want to talk too much, is what I was going to say. Amon's troops have taken the Gary's city. Really? They're summoning void shards everywhere. Once they activate, those shards will decimate August Grad. We need to destroy each of them before that happens. Don't let me down. Nermatized fuselage. <laughs> <laughs> Everything has just been renamed. Lovable overlords. Lovable overlords. Now I've enabled the Setman announcer pack as well, so it's gonna be a lot of Setman today. We really need more minerals. All right. So this is Gary's room. Now, am I crazy or isn't like 
the slug from SpongeBob called Gary. Isn't this the slug from SpongeBob? Get some more satellites out there. It's the only way we can win this. Okay, I need to get satellites. How does this work? You have to put that in a power field. Ah, okay. So I've got What in the world am I doing? Okay, so they have to connect. And apparently they will give us increases of friendly units attack speed by 20%. Oh. So these will become available. They have a pretty long charge up time, I guess. I don't know exactly how many I can stack, I but... All right, all right, all right. Let's go ahead and make a... Uh, I can make a spawning pool off of that satellite zone radius. At least that's something to note. Um, I would like to go ahead and just try out a bunch of random things. Now, over the next couple days, the I'm going to play this guy a lot. Show them the folly of their ways. So I will try my very best to... Uh, I can switch to the hugs configuration. Allow stat zones to grant stat zones units 10 life regeneration. What? That's insane. So wait, now everything inside of that zone <gasps> is going to be healed up? Ooh, that's so cool. Okay. All right, all right, all right. So I can now make some zerklings, apparently. That's something. I might need a second hatchery here as well, just because I'm, I, I don't think I'm going to be able to do that much. Oh, I don't actually have to do very much. I just click the button, and then it magically deploys. Okay. Now I've got some Zerklings here in the mix. Very good. I would like to go ahead and, uh, well, my uh, units didn't last very long, but I would like to go ahead and grab the expansion here. Because, in general, having your economy out early... In StarCraft 2, works out really well. Now, over the next couple of days, I'm certainly going to play this guy a lot over at the live stream as well. So if you're unfamiliar, I stream Monday through Saturday. Twitch.tv slash TV. I'm certainly going to spend a lot of time playing this commander. I will definitely level him up. Probably today, actually, to the maximum level. Oh, look at that. The hatchery actually also provides a starting point for that statellite energy. That stat zone, right? Is that what it's called? I think so. Anyways, Gary is going to spawn a little bit. Egon, I will not let you down. Affirmative. <laughs> I will do it. Gary, you clearly have the same voice as Stepman, okay? You can pretend like you're not Stepman, but I feel like you're just the hero version or something of Stepman. Anyways, um, Sensors are optimal. I now have a Stetalite, who apparently is a nice little smiley face on the minimap. Should we give it a try? I've got Egorp unleashes a traveling electro uh, electrical Command orb. Received. Semi-stable mass transportation teleports Gary and all nearby units to a controlled satellite location. Been reported outside of your landing. Yes! That's your first objective. Oh, that's awesome! Luck out there. So wait, what is this? Is this like... Smash it to pieces, Mecha Swarm! Is this like... Bad guys. I think this is kind of like a... Um, I hope he got her. She's at full capacity. Like a mothership core. Right? That's at least what I'm, what I'm gathering so far. I have no idea how strong Gary is. Gary's rank, by the way, is best friend, which is amazing. Yeah, Gary deals no damage. <laughs> well, he does a little bit, but very little. Okay, okay, let's see how this goes. I don't really want to run all of my units through that graves. So I can teleport units around, so say, just for like... Okay, we have to wait for that hatch to finish. So say just... For a test here in a little bit. Oh my god, this is, this is not ideal. For a test, right? I wanted to teleport my units to watch that, uh, to watch that other area. I guess I'm gonna go ahead and get a bailing nest here, which is probably not a terrible idea. And yeah, I'm gonna set up a statellite right over here as well. So say I wanted to teleport, right? Can I? Ah, I can target on the minimap. And now indeed we do teleport units in this direction, including the ones of my ally. All right, very cool. Anyways, I will make sure to make a follow-up video of this commander as well when I do know more about him. But look at that. That speed increase is insane. So, do I have, like, Zerkling speed upgrades? I do. Metal Bolic Boost. Alright, very cool. Hardened Egonergy Shield. Anti-Centripetal Rocket Servos. Increases the movement speed of Mecha Bailings. Alright, there's a lot of different things happening here. I'm just gonna all army hold key like a champ. That's the plan right now. Can't make any queens, by the way. But yeah, my units are much slower when they're uh, not inside of this field right now. And I guess I can set it up as well to heal instead. To uh, enable hugs. Important to get hugs. Okay, so we certainly are gonna need some detection as well. So let's stack up towards the lair. And I guess I'll get the nematized fuselage as well. 
Man, I'm gonna read all of these upgrades. I'm probably gonna make a thousand mistakes. Get more overlords. They tell the best. Evolution's all done. <laughs> they their best. Okay, very the cool. The enemy is on the way, little buddies. Get out there and say hello. I love the fact that he. Oh my God! I'm so fast. Okay, wait, wait. So if I want to heal, oh, dude, it heals so fast as well. I love the fact that they decided to go with the Terra Zined version of uh, of this commander. That certainly does make it more interesting. Anyways, let's make some banelings, I guess. May as well. I'm certainly, by the way, being carried right here by my ally. I have grouped up together with Nuke, who's a very good player, so... I'm pretty sure he could probably solo this mission on Brutal with relative ease. And that allows me to spend a little bit of time messing around. Oh my god, my banelings are jumping, aren't they? I do have Parasitic Bomb right now on Gary. I don't want to kill my best friend, though, so... Now, there's gonna obviously be a lot of upgrades and a lot of different units that I'm gonna have to extensively try out. Uh, let's get a couple of these, uh, what are they called? Morphoseers? Did that? No, 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 Mecha Overseer. I'm reading works that aren't even there right now. Ventral Pulse allows me to transport units. Hardened Egonergy Shields. There's a lot of other upgrades as well for the Baneling Nest, but I can't get those just yet. Okay. Um, I guess we'll just get a Hydra then, right? Hydraling Bane is kind of like my, my standard in Zerg versus, well, Terran and Zerg versus Protoss. All right, and let's continue upgrading our drone count for a little bit here as well, just so we can max saturation here. By the way, does that heal up his units as well? So it doesn't heal up the Centurion. No, it does. Wow, even the Centurion is healing up. So basically, whenever on idle, that's what I'm gathering right now. You want to turn on the optic generating system configuration. Now it does take a little bit of time before these things are deployed. Which is, I guess, a little bit tedious, but it's all right. Not enough minerals. Uh, can I make my Hydra upgrades as well? Yes. Really Your or Aerodition Missile Launcher. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna get all the upgrades. All right. Let's go. I guess I didn't tell him, right? I guess I didn't tell him, but it's all right. Here we go. So ideally, right, I guess I get a couple charges of these satellites up and then I like create like a path into the engagement, right? That seems like a good idea. All right, now I would like to get some Evo chambers, I guess? Yes. There we go. Getting rid of the second one here as well. Actually, just leaving it on the hugs configuration is not even terrible either, right? Because healing is never really a terrible idea in the middle of combat either. But I guess you can't really use this offensively unless you give it a little bit of time to unlock the satellites and to immediately spread them around. Anyways, let's switch over once again to the hugs protocol. Gary, do you heal up as well? Oh, yeah, Gary does heal up as well. Even though he's mechanical, he doesn't care about that kind of thing. Gary's way too cool for that. Once upon a time, he was a slug, and now all of a sudden, he's way cooler than that. So anyway, uh, reduced incoming damage to a maximum of 10. Drains 5 Egonergy per use. Alrighty. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and get a bunch of my Hydralisk. I've got way too much gas, by the way, right now. Um, can I help out by spreading the shields? There you go. Oh no, he killed one of my Statolites! That was rude, okay. Now, I don't have a lot of units that shoot up. I'm currently making some Hydralisk. Oh my god, what did they- what- what is- what do they have on their- on their heads? Switches to a less powerful missile armament, conserving Egonergy? Oh my god, I've got- This is such a creative commander once again, though. Hey, wait, is the- did the Statolite just come back online? I guess so. So wait, do they automatically switch as well, if I were to like, run out of Egon energy? So let's see, this one is just about to run out of energy. Nah, it doesn't look like it. So I guess they go offline for a little bit, when they, uh, yeah, when they, uh, get targeted. Anyways, there's a fight over here as well. Oh my god, there's a lot of damage here. A lot of drop frames already as well. Not on my watch. Alright. Uh, I guess one way to drop gas is just to make a, about a million bane links, right? Not a terrible idea. Any more, any more hydro upgrades I can make? Dude, I've got so many different upgrades to still get. Or to still unlock. I guess I'll go missile and melee. 
Uh, I'm just trying to see. I can't make multiple multiple uh, of each structure, so that's what I tried to explain earlier. What else can I make? I can make a spire, cool. And I guess I can get an infestation pit as well, so we can get some of those units. And maybe also, oh my god. Dude, I'm dropping a lot of frames here, actually. It's pretty insane. I've got a very high-end computer, but... I guess, uh, I guess this is certainly a pretty intense situation to be in. Now, it shouldn't be too noticeable in video. But I'm definitely dropping below 100 frames here. Anyways, let's continue laying down these satellites. The bad guys are attacking my friend? Oh, no. I'm making as many of those Zerklings as I can. Maybe I want to get some more of these Mecha Hydralisks as well, though. So I can switch them to different attacking types, right? Different kinds of weapons. Uh, let's make some Corruptors. And let's make some Mecha Infestors as well. Curious to see what kind of abilities they all have. Oh, that was probably the worst E-Gorp I've ever, I've ever sent out so far. But yeah, ideally you want to kind of spread this thing to watch the engagement, right? But I guess that's not really going to happen. I guess it's more or less like a... It's really like, more or less like creep spread, right? Fighting on creep. It's doable when you're, uh, when you're being attacked, but not so easy when you're on the offensive. That's another void shot down. Now it seems like they get deactivated. <laughs> it seems like they get deactivated temporarily. But that's about it. Uh, I do have an infester right now. So what do you have? Roaches away spawns four mecha roaches? Oh no. And deconstructive roach knights infects target enemy structure? What is that? Oh my god, I can spawn a very strong amount of units here. Very cool. Okay, Gary. Gary, I need you to get back. Oh my god. I would imagine Gary probably is going to be very useful as well later on. No, 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 don't kill Gary! Don't you dare kill Gary! No! Gary has died. He will be revived at his room. No! Gary, no! Uh, should we do bonus? I think we can probably do bonus. I don't know, though. Maybe that's going to be a little bit greedy. Anyways, I've got lots of upgrades here as well. Wide area cluster busters. Alright. Um, I guess I can make some more mecha corruptors. Yeah, it looks like I can't really make an easy variety of all of the different units. But with this much gas, I should probably get a lot of infestors, right? So, let's create hotkey group number one right over here for this army. And then I'm gonna just simply spend as much gas as I can on these mecha infestors. I'll put those on hotkey number two. Gary, once again, has been reconstructed. Which is great. You have to put that in a power field. Uh, alright. I'm trying to spread... ...the power field a little bit closer. But yeah, it, it really does function like creep. So this is, I guess, his version of creep, which is a little bit different. Evolution's all done. I will do it. Um, anything else that I need to get? I'll just get a bunch of these upgrades. Let's go, uh... Let's go up to watch the hype as well. You don't have enough minerals. Okay. Go ahead, Carry or Gary Rotter. Okay. I got infestors for those foes. It's gonna be it's gonna be awesome. Don't worry about it. Yes. Okay, that was really not as exciting as I hoped it would be. Oh my god, you do spawn quite a few of them though, right? Bonus objective, um... For some reason it doesn't seem to... Oh no, it is gone. I was gonna say. For some reason it doesn't seem to disappear. I lost quite a lot of my units here as well, though. And it seems like these little roachlings, the mecha roaches, the baby ones... They don't seem to be automatically fighting here. Or at the very least, maybe that was because they got, uh... They got hit right there as well by, uh, no, 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 let's go for that one. But I think they may have gotten hit there by a parasitic bomb or uh, a blinding cloud rotter. Okay, so I'm at Hive Tech right now. Let's put down a 
What was it called? A mecha ultralisk cavern. Okay, I can do that. There's so many different upgrades to mess around with though, and so many different variety of units I'm gonna be able to make as well. It's gonna take some time to figure all of this out. Um, I'm making ultras. One sec. Uh, I guess we can clean the bottom area though. I want to see what ultralisks look like. So far though, it's been pretty smooth sailing. Um, we, we can clear the bottom. We can clear the bottom of the ramp. So what does this do? Infested target structure. So that is like a StarCraft 1 ability, right? Wait, I can burrow my infestors for free as well. Super useful. I add on a couple more, uh, couple more units, but let's have a look. So I have Electrostatic Surprise. Allows the Mecha Ultralisk's Vectored Burrow Charge ability to stun enemy mechanical ground units in a... Only ground units, though, that are mechanic uh, mechanical? How useful is that going to be against Zerk? Probably not very. Probably not very, but I can imagine that's going to be really good if you go up against Terran Mech, right? Ultralisk in that case. Usually you don't want to make Ultras against Mech. But Ultras in that case do sound pretty wonderful. Uh, let's go ahead and make some Ultralisks. They are a little bit more expensive than some of my other units, but at least the combination of Infestors and then also Ultralisks seems to allow me to drop my minerals and my gas pretty well. I had a lot of gas earlier. Right now I don't have that much anymore. May also be due to the fact though, that I didn't really make my, uh, my drones fast enough. Anyways, there's tons of different upgrades we can still get. There's the juice configuration at the top as well, whatever that does, I don't know. Let's have a look. Oh my god. Gary, no! <sighs> Poor Gary, man. Yeah, no, having uh, Banelings go up against this unit composition is really not ideal. <laughs> I guess Ultras are gonna help out quite a bit in that regard, though. Are we gonna kill this side of the ramp as well? There's absolutely zero purpose for that. Okay, I like it. Let's go. Ultras are available. You don't have enough minerals. He seems pretty strong though, right? But I've seen I've seen other new commanders that were added to the game at some point that uh, seemed a little bit more powerful right at the very beginning. Although I'm obviously completely unsure as to how I play this guy. Oh. Yeah, let's go. Okay, so I'll go ahead and grab the uh, the enemy units over here. Oh my god, that blast ability is pretty awesome. All right, all right, let's go. Trying to spread my statellites over towards the final objective point. Go, go, Ultralisks! Go, go, Zerklings! I guess I could have used my fast protocol for that, right? Yeah, I could have actually used the other protocol there to get over there a little bit quicker. By the way, is Gary a detector? No, he's not. Even though he's a... Uh, what's that unit called again? I'm forgetting the name of it right now. Even though he should be able to be a detector, he's not. He's not, but I guess it's okay. We have destroyed the final board charge. The city is ours. You hear that, Amon? The Dominion is not so easily defeated. Now, not gonna lie, though. This character, Finally. or this commander... Thank you! <laughs> ...is certainly a little bit confusing initially. It's probably gonna take me a round of games, a couple of games, uh, to, uh, to figure out what he is all about. But so far, he certainly seems to be able to carry his weight quite comfortably, even at level 1. Now, that was my first game of the day. We have the difficulty bonus, I've got the stim pack bonus as well. Yeah, we're gonna be able to level up really quickly. So, here we go. I've unlocked two new abilities. First off, the juice is loose, which I think is that third ability at the top. It unlocks the juice configuration, which regenerates Egonergy, or Egonergy, still don't know how to pronounce that, for Statman's units and energy for allied units. Wow, very cool. And now we have the Gary Statellite Overcharge. Gary gains the ability to overcharge the Statellite, allowing it to actively grant bonuses to nearby units depending on the current Statellite configuration. So I guess in case you do get attacked instead of like a Statellite Zone, 
or in case you be or you're able to like spread the satellites far enough so you can actually utilize this i guess you will get like even more speed bonuses or even faster healing or something along those lines now i was curious right there about the amount of units and structures killed i ended up killing 500 precisely my ally ended up killing 894 which is not bad considering nuke has a maxed out for a zoon considering that was a level one commander and a brutal difficulty Certainly does look like Setman is perfectly capable of carrying his weight. Now, like I mentioned, I am certainly going to level this guy up over the next couple of days, and I'm going to be playing him a lot over at the live stream. As soon as I've got a good idea on how to play this, and maybe a couple of suggestions for strategies, I will make sure to make follow-up videos to this one as well. So if you are new here, do make sure you hit the subscribe button and the little bell icon so you get notifications as soon as those future videos go live. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, make sure you hit the like button down below. And if you want to see more, like I mentioned, hit that subscribe button. But for now, I want to thank you for watching. Have an amazing day. Do not forget to smile all right. And I will see you once again in the next one.